Mystery Science Theater 3000, show 4 or 5, real one. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Imagination? Uh, should we be afraid? Be very afraid? No, and no. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Joel Robinson, and the bots and I are in a spirited game of 20 questions. It's it's a sassy, brassy musical humdinger. Oh, 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 is it a new high in adventure when they go thrill deep in danger? No, wrong and wrong. It is not the most exciting undersea odyssey ever filmed, and it is not 100% pure adrenaline. Aha! Uh -huh. Then it's a bikini clad romp through summer's fun. No, no, is it a shocking expose of souls and bombs? Is it not only his nose that grows? Oh, is it personal this time? No. We'll oh, right do, we, do we watch Dudley Moore juggle two women in a battle to save his sanity? You made that up. No, no, no. Okay, here's a good one. Uh, stop or guess who'll shoot my mama's babysitter and throw her from the train? Oh, <laughs> oh that's it's really good. Hard hat and legs are calling. Oh, let oh. me. <clears throat> Hello, is. Dave home? No, there's no one named Dave here. I think you have the wrong no Oh, knock it off, you nitwits! Frat! Ah! <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. What, have you been under a rock for the last 10 years? Hello? Is this thing on? Paging Dr. F? Hello? Frank? Let's pretend I hurt you and move on, shall we? Done. Well, Joel, as the brilliant essayist and secret bigot H.L. Mencken once said, no one ever went broke underestimating the rumors of my death have been greatly exaggerated or something like that. The point is... The point is, is that someone is making a mint off those damn precious moments bisque figurines and Dr. Clayton Stonewall Forrester wants a piece of the pie. You dig? I dig. That's why we've come up with these brand new optional gifts for Grandma that we like to call Tragic Moments Figurines. Sure, Grandma will cry when she sees her lovely gift, but for very different reasons. This first one is entitled Sparky's Last Romp, and these beautiful handcrafted figurines depict little Billy's first hard lesson in life, plus what happens when a dog teases a cow way past the breaking point. Thank you, Frank. Uh, this striking hand-painted lamp is titled By the Fire's Glow, and it depicts the tragic occurrence when you light off a Roman candle in the rumpus room. This little beauty here is the flagship of our collection. It's entitled, I'll Get It, and it depicts what should have been a really fun game of kickball gone tragically wrong. Others in the collection include, he raises a hand in anger, uh, world's deadest grandma, and dad's liquid breakfast. And uh, Joel, no one can predict the market on these things, but a 1987 copy of Who's That With Mom recently sold for $400. Your turn. Oh, you should be laughing. No one can be that evil. Oh, lighten up and get on with your invention. Well, sirs, as you know, charismatic actor Jack Palance can make anything he says sound horrifying or at the very least really interesting. So we've came up with this Jack Palance impersonator kit. It makes anything you say uh, worth listening to, isn't that right? I just purchased a new shovel today. Its cost, 
fifteen dollars. Believe it or not. See, or else you could uh, go ahead and try to scare your friends. Uh, excuse me, is that uh, Jack Palance or Jack Palance? That would be a decision for you to make. Choose wisely. Well, what do you think, sirs? Ah! Don't do that! Your film today, Joel, is a cinematic tranquilizer starring Ben Murphy called Being from Another Planet. And I hope you haven't made plans for dinner, my little corn muffin. <laughs> 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 oh, shut up. Okay. We've got it. Yes. Oh, fun, huh? Jack. Yes. yes. Dimitri Villa. <laughs> In association with Wesker. Oh, you know, being from another planet, I didn't have a lot to do with this film. <laughs> it's a play on words, right? Yes. As Isis, the god of love. Isis, oh, You know, these characters are so flat. Oh, yeah. huh? oh. Mm -hmm. oh, Brophy, that's when your brother wins a trophy. Zingo wingo. Zing. Ah, they picked him out of nowhere. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> James Karen? Boy, he has an identity problem. <laughs> Sam Chu? Gazente. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh boy, we're rolling. I predict her career will go nowhere. Oh, good one. Boy, we get the credits and a tour through the art museum. Huh. This is just like the beginning of Mannequin, one of my favorite films. <laughs> Say, could you introduce me to Sherry Belafonte Harper? <laughs> no, guys, I just don't understand this modern art. Huh? Sounds like somebody's getting a haircut. Very good. Under representation of an effective professor. Sounds like the Foley guy opened a mic. Hmm. Excellent. Oh, little Robbie Greenberg. Let's see. Thor is 11. Hmm? Number nine, number nine. We are standing still. You know, guys, this sounds exactly like Jerry Garcia's first album. Really? Yeah. Huh. Huh. Oh, it's the Shroud of Turin. North Wall, they must be in a trailer home during a tornado. Tom Kennedy, by the end of this decade, you will host a game show. Okay, all right. I'm okay, you're okay. We're all okay. I'll do a look. Oh, this is a summer tomb that nobody talks about too much. Last tomb on the left. Fong? Indy, throw me the whip. Norton, you in here? Please be careful, brothers. Is this a Hardy Boys Nancy Drew mystery? Ladies and gentlemen, the Mirage Hotel proudly presents Siegfried and Roy! <laughs> Smells like mummy meat in here. Scooby? <laughs> it's Alias Smith and Jane. Oh, stepped in a tut pile. <laughs> oh, there's Pete Duell. Oh, 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 oh. I, I know. <sighs> Ew, somebody been cooking veal in here? Yes. I'm Leonard Nimoy, in search of my career. Watermelons? No, it's oh. the Wayne Newton insignia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did ancient astronauts leave this rock? Read the book. So far, this movie looks like a dramatization of a movie. <laughs> Love Joy on A and E. Early hopscotch. Bless this mess. Wait a minute. What's this? I heart my dog God. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. Are you alright? 
<laughs> hey, Sitch, can we go now? Yeah, shut up, you mug. Hi, I'm at the Ray, the Big Mouth. My boss, Mr. Hot. <laughs> it file tape of a jet plane. <laughs> Bracken's World. Guests of King Tut stay at the California Institute of the Sciences. I'm gonna need at least three of you on each side. Hey, it's Ellie May up there. Ooh. Hey, carefully. Could you all oh, look at so the other side of the coffin? Cherry. Cherry. Linda, this is fairly heavy. Must we pose for right now? Rossmore wants a bunch of publicity stills for their press conference tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow? Yeah. Seems we have no choice. Professor, could you move over here and smile at the mummy? Hey, Scott Bayo. Bayo. Because of the Bella. A 3,000 year old childproof cap? Leave it alone, damn you. I just got out of the shower and went up. Looks like Abba in college. That's the name of the game. These are clearly the original seals. Ditch the coffin. We got what we need. Which means the fellow inside hasn't seen the light of day in approximately 3,000 years. So he's going to be crazy. Oh. Fellas, one on each side. Lift it carefully. You are about to enter the field of forensic medicine. Okay, easy. Yeah, just toss it over there against the wall. Operation! From Tutankhamun. Not that great, kind of a letdown. Mm -hmm. It's Cherry. Can anyone translate the name? Ark Van Harris. No, Joan Van Ark. Literally a noble traveler. Uh, meaning? Look, what do you I want from me? A visiting dignitary. Why would they bury a foreigner in the tomb of King Tut? Hmm. That's a good question. They were wacky. Maybe we'll find the answer in the scroll of dedication. All right, let's go for the inner lid now, carefully. Oh? Why did Shelly Long and Henry Winkler and Gab Goofy coming this summer? Ready for the x-ray, sir. Oh, my son, the idiot. Carefully. Oh, oh, light a match. <laughs> Oh, peel any. Oh. The Alan Parsons Project Tales of Mystery and Imagination. A hasty burial. Minimum preparation. Because it's a gazillion years old, maybe? God. What is that green stuff? Mold? Mm. Not really sure. Michael, Ooh. why don't you collect some samples? Okay, Doc. I'm collecting samples for the teacher. Professor, why would he have been given a hasty burial? Oh, well, like I was there. Well, until we remove the wrappings and hey, examine check the it body, out. we're not going to know cool. for sure. But my guess is, Unk Van Harris died from some kind of disease, such as plague or smallpox, mm -hmm. or whatever it was that disfigured and killed his attendants. Well, that's great, Doc. Could you sign my so trap sheet? bring me an airtight container. I want to seal this up until we get um, a proper cleaning. Rubbermaid or Tupperware? Hmm. <laughs> oh, not my color. I'm definitely a fall. Oh, great. The plague. Oh. I got a date. Michael? Just about oh, done, Doc. Sure. All, right. All right, now it makes me up a picture of Jim Gibson's. Mm. Don't forget the onion. Here, this is yours. You can keep that. All right, I think we're ready for the x-ray. No, I don't think so. Chance of fire high today. Uh-oh. Huh? Look at that. My God, Sharp! One of those damn kids must have knocked it off the setting. You've been x-raying this mummy with ten times the normal dose. He could die! Okay, so we'll start again. Let's not say we did. Set enough radiation for one night. Just deliver those plates to my office. Why'd they send a mummy to Pine City Votac? Medical Center. I in the evening. Looks kind of like a van mural. Hmm. And now, Trapper John, M.D. Boy, Trapper John, M.D. lives right next door to a medical center. Yeah. 
This guy's so negative. You get it? <laughs> That's cute. That's cute. For the yeah. next reason. Man. Well, let's see. You haven't flossed and you don't brush. We're exposed. These are terrible. Who took these? Oh, I did. That's okay. Well, look at this. Steelies and Aggies. Hmm? Dear Aunt Nefertiti, thanks for the socks. Oh. Uh, want me to turn on the light? Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, the Aladdin Hotel proudly presents Kirby Van Hurst and Rock of Magic. Well, this easy top poster is going to look boss in here. Well, now, Mr. Mummy, we have some things to discuss. I hope your business affairs are in order. Do you have insurance? I'm watching you. Tut, tut, tut. Oh. Man, I hate it when they paint over the outlets. Yeah. Victor Bono. Mm -hmm. Finally, the Warren Commission file. I wonder. Oh, hey. oh, no, my mom found my stash. <gasps> that is so lame. He's rifling the mummy for change. <laughs> An ace award? What's oh. that doing in there? Oh, travel Yahtzee. Oh. Now I'm gonna look in the underwear drawer. Oh, you <laughs> are. Done and done. Hey, wrap that thing up, it'll spoil. Oh, can I interest you in our mocha mud pie? It is decadent. Ah, uh, you can relax. I'm just gonna check for cavities. Match the dose. Don't worry, this isn't gonna hurt a bit. He's taunting a mummy. Hey! Bob! <laughs> a perfect match. Hey, it's Tim Matheson, and he loves the ladies. Ooh. How do you tell someone they've been dead for a thousand years? I don't know. Okay, here's my headshots. Now all I need is some talent. Hmm. Hmm, what has it got in its pockets? Is? Galum, galum. Hmm. Time for a razzle. Candy hmm. or gum? Gold doubloons on pieces of hate, pieces of hate. Oh, he's doing his paint by number clown. Ladies and gentlemen, Jap Productions is proud to present the Black Moses of Soul. Hall oh. monitor. I'm walking, yes indeed, I'm talking hope. Oh. Da -da -da. Thin locker. Man, everybody wears cleats in this film. Lou Diamond Phillips in The Fifth Power. Jimmy Smith. Hmm. Uh, sorry, Mr. Mummy, we were unable to reach your x rays. QM production. X-rays. Man, it looks like a ground round in his office. Mm. Um, just put him over there. I want to finish cleaning this girl. Just want to finish the eyes. Oh, teacher petting. Extra credit. <laughs> Please, honey, not while I'm decoupaging. You can do magic things. I don't know, Ken. I'm impotent. Some kind of dormant mole. Hey, that's one of Great. your students you're talking about. I'll help Susie run it over. Ooh. And thanks, Ken. My TA. Ken Melrose in pathology can start analyzing it right away. Can you bring it over to him? You mind? Of course not. 
Maybe he'll show me his new electron microscope. We're going to compete with that. Nothing, believe me. Before you go, what do you think of this? What, are you playing hangman? Magic symbols, astrological diagram. Look at the material. I've never seen anything like it. It's not papyrus. Is that leather, cloth? Well, maybe you found the first civilization to use polyester. <laughs> get out, get out! What a dismal thought. Don't work too late, Doc. Ooh, heartburn, bad. Oh, Rex is chasing rabbits again. <laughs> That's bites. Hey, look, an ancient swing line and a Rolodex. <sighs> Now, was I a Smith or Jones? I can't remember. It's been so long. That a piss? No! Not file jelly. Ah, well. Man, if we could see that, I'd better be real scary. Yeah, I don't want to. Movie of the week. I'm sorry, did I startle you? No, that's why I wet myself. Oh, oh. oh, Susie, what time is it? Gonna look worse than Ock Van Harris at the press conference. And you smell like Cheetos. Susie, look at this. Notice the cranial structure. The line of the spinal column. It's gonna need a Maybe retainer. Maybe something wrong with the x-ray machine. No, no. Here, coffin came out perfectly. Hmm, nice likeness. this. Usually the internal organs are removed and prepared separately, but here they're Ooh, all intact. gross. Now, get me a sandwich. This mummy hasn't been prepared in the standard manner. What's this? No idea. I'm a complete phony. Hmm. Probably a hidden compartment for personal hmm. jewelry. That's not unheard of. Yeah, it's only hidden unless you look. They had a track. What is this stuff? Guacamummy. <laughs> Don't touch it. Don't. Oh. Get Ken Melrose and tell him something has happened to the mold. Get him quick. Hurry, go on. Go get Ken Melrose. He'll touch anything. Mummy in this movie. Yeah, huh? what a royally lame, crummy mummy in this movie. Oh, <laughs> what a royally lame, crusty, crunchy, crummy dummy mummy in this movie. <laughs> I need her, I need her. Now watch this one, Tom. What a royally lame, Billy mummy in this movie. Oh man, oh, <laughs> Billy <laughs> mummy from Lost in Space. Yeah. That is rich. What a hoot. <laughs> uh, it's Bill Mummy, oh. and I happen to be a fan. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Joel. You know, the whole concept strikes me as absurd. I mean, what has Master Mummy done for us since his portrayal? Trail of young Will Robinson on Irwin Allen's production of Lost in Space. Well, uh, lots of stuff. Oh, like what? Yeah. Well, uh, it might surprise you to find out that uh, he was even a younger child actor than when Lost in Space. Like, uh, remember the film Dear Bridget, where he played the little boy who wrote oh. to Bridget Bardot? Ring a bell. And then there was mm -hmm. that classic uh, 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 Twilight Zone, where he was the little boy who could mm -hmm. wish people into the cornfield. Oh, yeah, and then there was that yeah. one really great movie that I can't really remember the name of, where he played that super genius mathematician. <laughs> that kid. one really great movie that I can't remember, where he played that great. Yeah, well, uh, let me rephrase that Bill Mooney hasn't done anything since he was a. Eleven there. Oh, Ooh, wow. solid riff, Crow. Thank you. Au contraire, Crow. Oh, drat. Uh -oh. Don't you remember? He played Sterling North in the heartwarming tale Rascal. Yeah. Sterling. Yeah, and oh. let's see, what else did he do? Oh, yeah, he was the young rebel in that film. Bless the Beast and the Children. Oh, now I remember. You know, that's about the time he started showing up on the Merv Griffin exactly. show with his electric uh -huh. guitar. And the next thing you know, he's a special guest bachelor on mm. Jim Lang's The Dating Game. Dare we forget the now classic Lost in Space reunion show on Family Feud. Uh, I was especially fond of his work in the European mime troupe, Mummy Shants. Uh, <laughs> shout out. Fine. Beat it. Beat it.
no taste, you know? Yeah. You know, I understand that lately he's been spotted performing space plays live on stage, as well as his work in introducing a comic book, of course. And the... You mean uh, Lost in Space graphic novel. Oh, Let's oh, not forget his work in the band Barnes and Barnes. Remember <gasps> Fish Heads? Need oh, I say more? Eat them up, yum. You know, didn't he play the part of Weaver in Sunshine Christmas? Oh, let's not forget his cameo appearance in the remake of the Twilight Zone movie. Uh, uh, did I say uh, Billy Movie? I meant to say Butch Patrick. <laughs> Why didn't you say so? You know, yeah. I felt like the Phantom Toll Booth was so totally overrated. Oh, you know? Excuse me. Hello, hello, Lidsville. Don't get me started now. <laughs> ah! I thought his widow's peak was real. You okay, oh, there you. Uh, Yeah. Okay. Yes. Worthless. Worthless? Yeah, your career, that is. What do you mean, worthless? I mean, they're not precious. You're precious. They're 3,000 years old. They're ancient, man. Hmm? Well, who told you that? Some hustler. I don't read pocket. hustler. Forget it. I'm gonna find those strawberries. Clown. Take that back or I'll squirt you with my flower. <laughs> Uh, it is the same fungus. Among us. <laughs> but it's definitely no longer dormant. Norman. And you have no idea what it is. No we is. And until we find out, don't let anyone near it. Right. It's not going to be easy. Ross Moore scheduled a press conference for today. He wants to introduce Ang Fin Harris to the public. Hmm. Okay, Doug. I'll call Ross Moore and tell him he simply must cancel. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate that. Okay, well, thanks. Solid, bud. Uh, word out. Yeah. Evening news. Evening to you. Is this a stiff? Michael, see if you can find something to rope the coffin off with, please. Uh, like rope? Get out. Good chair. Be sure everyone stays clear of the coffin. Mm, gotcha. Including you. Okay. Can we have ten pound balls? Let's talk to you. We have a press conference. We found a chair over there. Right 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 we don't know for sure that it's dangerous. Well, what are the savings? Hey, hey, lens cap. Oops. Look, I'll get back to work on this, and if I learn anything, I'll, I'll call you. Thanks, Ken. Thanks. Sky rockets in flight after... Huh? Oh, yuck, his pen blew up. <laughs> Bad finger. I'll say. You want to come and get it. Get him to the campus hospital, to the emergency room. Call Melrose as soon as you get there. And don't touch his hand! And get me two hard-boiled eggs. Make that three hard-boiled eggs. Just, uh, Settle down, seat, ladies please. and gentlemen. All part of the act. Settle down. <laughs> George oh. Plimpton? Hmm? What's that Captain, jerk doing here? What is the meaning of all this commotion? One of my students was just burned by this fungus. It's a mungus. Come on, you know damn well what I'm talking about. I've, I've seen your shower. I tried to warn you about this. And, you know, I really resent being blamed for the clumsiness of one of your students. Now, if you're unwilling to accept the responsibility for this project, perhaps we ought to find someone who will. Hmm. Like Funnel right here. Hi, I'm the soundtrack for this film. You know, music is a series of ones and zeros. Well, this looks more like Spermazole vacation pictures. Ooh. 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 And uh, here's my zygote in Fort Lauderdale. Cheetah, get away from that. Super suave love man, Ken Melrose. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. My name is Wendell J. Rossmore. Good, good morning, morning, Mr. Wendell J. J. Rossmore. Today we are formally announcing the permanent acquisition of a major artifact from the tomb and the treasure of Tutankhamun. And we got his hot tub. <laughs> Hey, Jim Fix. <laughs> oh, no, there's a steady cam on the boiler. <laughs> when we uncover the mummy, you're going to notice that the wrappings are very deteriorated and covered with a green substance. This may make him seem rather unattractive, but please remember, he's been in there for 3,000 years. I can't believe he gets a laugh with that. Gentlemen, you may remove the internet. Where's Geraldo? All rise. Oh, it's full of chip dip. Looks good. Hey, look, I wasn't the only one in the lab that night. Don't you belong to a fraternity, Sharp? Yes. So what? 
Hey, Pete, I was a frat man. I know what it's like. Slow night, nothing to do. Have a couple of beers. Steal a mummy. Quarter ever clear the beer bomb. Theory, Captain. Try to prove it. Why, you little... Hey, listen. You little Why minx. Why Parker where he was that night? I saw him How was that hair club from in? Dr. Rossmore, Jack Parker is not a suspect. The most important thing is we've got to find the mummy. We've got to counteract the bad press generated by that disaster this morning. Uh, Sharp. Yes, sir. Uh, 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 I want you to spread the word through the fraternity houses. I am offering a 24-hour amnesty to get the mummy back. Now, if he is not returned, I am going to close every frat house and search every room on this campus. I'll search every underwear drawer yes, in sorority row. All right. Uh, Sharp. Uh, Ma'am Parker, you may go. Oh, oh, my throat's closing, Joel. I don't like this. It's scary. Uh, I can't take it. This is a sinus headache. Uh, hey, you guys, I think it's Coppola's espresso machine. Uh, uh, you have no idea what I am. What am I trying to do? I'm a mummy for crying out loud. <laughs> I can't watch this anymore, Joel. I can't take it. It's too terrifying. I think the city police should be brought in on this. Absolutely not. Now, come on. This is an internal affair. We don't need him. You're overreacting, Doug. That mummy could be dangerous. There is something on the wrappings. We need to something close the beaches. Something very strange. There's already a boy in the hospital. Then I gotta hit a home run for him. That mummy could end up the same way. If that's so, whoever has taken the mummy is going to end up in the hospital sooner or later. And then I'll nab him. <laughs> and nobody has to know about it. Not the police, not the press. And certainly not the audience. <laughs> Fine. Uh, better find that mummy before somebody else gets hurt. I'm gonna find more leather to put on my jacket. Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I can't <laughs> take come anymore. On. Oh, it's come scary. Here. Come back oh, here. It's not that bad. Here, oh, come on. Oh, Sit up. Stand up. Okay. Come on. Boiler no, room. Oh, oh, oh. Boiler room system aboard. Oh. oh. Wally Sean? <laughs> I pity the dirt that gets in my way. Yeah, don't. Oh, 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 go! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's spooky. Uh, uh, oh. This guy. Yeah, I better get my biker magazines out of here. I'm having dinner with Andre later. Well, he has been working up a sweat, hasn't he? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Darn clumsy mummy. Sounds kind of like John Cage is back there. Hey, what's going on back here? Just eating a nutritious breakfast, Mom. <laughs> well, there's no emotional attachment to me. I can die. Ooh, there he goes. I want you to search the campus. And find me a decent Turn it tie. Upside down if necessary, but find that mummy. Sounds like an Abbott and Costello movie. You got it. Hey, hey, scrubbing there, bubbles. <laughs> the structure is just crazy. The nucleus is unstable. The chromosomal pattern is mystifying. And I'm totally bonkers. And the cells are multiplying at a rate so fast, I can hardly measure it. And I still haven't figured out how many licks it takes to get to the Tootsie Center. Oh, there yes. is Prince Albert McCann. Hmm? We'll be right there. Yes, whatever it is, it's highly dilatropic. It breaks down to oh, it's quite reunion. Provided it has enough food. I'll take it. Well, any organic tissue. In this case, human flesh. Oh, not that old trick. <laughs> Bad movie, you're soaking in it. I die. I'm sorry, I screwed up your show. Okay. I get paid anyway. You were upstaged by the disappearing act anyway. When you find that guy, kill him. I want to be the first one in the house. You got it. Unless you're dead. Mind if I take a look at that hand? Sure, Doc. No, why don't you slip out of that robe? Sure, I did. Hey, wait, it's my hand that hurts. It's a honey glazed hand. Hey, it's Murray the cop. Well, which one, Herb Edelman or Al Molinaro? Oh, geez, I gotta pick up in here. 
darn kids. What's all this in? Hello, Winchells? Send a policeman over Prato. Dr. Serrano? Hey, this is Captain Willoughby. Yeah. Look, I'm in the electrical supply room. And I'm naked. The President Rossmore told me to call you if I saw anything suspicious. Well, I haven't, so goodbye. I'm taking your request tonight, so give me a call at 662-8200. And now, to Brian from Sheila and to Christy from all the guys at Delta Psi. Here's the banana boat song by a guy I like to call Dad. Hey, she's got a close and play. Nice. Well, you hide out when you're not taking my picture, huh? Chief is right on campus, right next to the reactor. And she's funny, too. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jamie Reynolds. And so am I. Tonight's edition of Two on One. It's not much fun. Last year at the California Institute of the Sciences, they held a press conference to show off their new mummy. But when they opened the coffin, guess what? It wasn't a mummy. It was a daddy. Oh, oh my God. Who's no, free it me? It wasn't anything. The coffin was empty. Told you, Geraldo. It's a tomb. Uh, uh, I gotta get cable. I wonder how much they paid for that thing. Whatever it was, it was too much. Jamie, I think the Institute is in grave trouble. <laughs> Kill him. Sorry. At any rate, it all started this morning when Wendell J. Rossmore of the Institute called a press conference to show the world their find. It's worth over a hundred bucks. I could let you have it for, say, fifty. Hey, what am I going to get 50 bucks? Hey, come on, Greg. I know you got paid today. Just imagine what Ellen's going to think when you walk in with a present like yeah, that. Yeah, she's going to think you're a dork, Greg. <laughs> Shiny. <laughs> Who's Ellen? <laughs> well, all right. I got hard bodies and mannequin, too. Starsky and Hutch, the Lost Episodes on USA Network. Name your restaurant, baby. Sizzler! <laughs> <laughs> so, tell me seriously, what do you think of the critique of pure reason, Dollface? <laughs> oh, they're reading an Aunt B's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I'll eat your bread. Huh? Ah. <laughs> uh, uh, Excuse me. Uh, I'll be right back. I gotta go shake hands with a millionaire. <laughs> Oh. Shaw. Robert Shaw? Robert Shaw? Yeah, especially in this outrageously expensive restaurant with nine different kinds of forks. Yeah, uh, Denny's, it's a big it's thing like around here. Hey, it's hard to figure, Brother Vogel, especially since they're monks. 25 mm -hmm. bucks a piece. Hey, look, come on, I need that. I just ordered the food. It's okay, we'll pay for it. We'll eat it, too. Look, I'm here with Sherry. Belafonte Harper. She's okay. in this movie, too. Hey, listen, I know we can uh, share the food, but listen, we're not flip for the lady. Tail seems appropriate. Oh. Oh. How would you guys like to double your money? Wow, a whole Quasar. 50 cents. By Motorola. Big zip. Huh, what? The GM is trying to tell me something. <laughs> Um, I never had to use a knife and a fork before. More calling Orson. More calling Orson. Come on back here. Get over here. Come on. Both of you. Come on. Get over here. No. Sit down. Come here, you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You give that to a girl, she'll never forget you. Yeah, wow. Okay, it's a deal. So, don't wake the baby. I thought you were the baby. Really quiet. Come on. She has a certain Susan St. James quality. Here, kid, there's a belly chain for you. Enjoy. Hey, I didn't know you liked B.J. Thomas. What time are they going to come home? Not until midnight. Oh, so we got five minutes. Mm -hmm. Huh? It's the hand that rocks the cradle down there. Spotlight on Makeout. This is Linda Flores oh, on KCIS. Neat radio. Ball and Chain by Panasonic. Now, a special message for those naughty boys and girls who took the Institute's mummy. 
Here's my in-studio guest, our own Professor Douglas McCadden. Wow, hot show. Thank you very much, Linda. <laughs> to whom it may concern... Give it back! Give it back, you Lamone's sons of... wrappings Ooh. is extremely dangerous. Ooh. If you have come into contact with it, Jeez. please seek medical attention at once. We've come into contact. Wow, the this is really getting them in the mood, you know? Touch it. Mm -hmm. Wow. Call the police or the institute or even this radio station. Walton, here's a who. Ricky Schroeder, no! He sure can't play young. Jim Henson's Baby Babies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, it's like an escape act. That's what it's sort They're of like. They're telling secrets. Ah. Meanwhile, in Friday the 13th. Now listen, I'm gonna break out of here. See, nobody's gonna stop me. Be scared. Be very scared. <laughs> You know what happens? Well, first you put the record on and then see. Oh, no. Are you my daddy? <laughs> Thought I lost it there for a minute. Guess it must have fallen out of my pocket into the baby's crib. Huh. He sure liked it. I hope you do too. <laughs> Greg, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. It wasn't glowing like that when I bought it. Oh, it's so warm. Like me. Um, um, um. Oh, I love baby talk. Mm -hmm. Now it's fast. Damn. Can't you let the kid crawl? He wants his doll. Such a baby. What do I look like, the babysitter? Oh, I am. Don't tell mom the babysitter's hot. Ah, <laughs> oh, an asparagus monster! That necklace didn't have a very good clasp. Now she's a wallflower. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. At least it's outdoors. A fish finder in a hospital? Mm -hmm. Can you treat her? Like a lady? Oh, Lieutenant Plummer. I believe you know our pathologist, Ken Melrose. Of course. Yeah, he'll touch anything. And this is Professor Douglas McCadden of the oh, Institute. Oh, hi! Professor. I brought Lieutenant Plummer up to date on everything. Doctor, what about Ellen? Well, I'm consulting by phone with Dr. Cunningham. Oh, Richie Cunningham, I'm sure I know him. Control of disease. <laughs> oh? You expecting an epidemic? <laughs> no, but if anyone knows anything about unusual disorders, it's Atlanta. Ouch. Let's get out of here. They have all our data now, you see. You ready to go? Sure. Carry mm. so me. Mm. Nope. I understand there was a witness to this accident involving the girl. Yeah, her boyfriend, uh, Greg Hauser. He's here in the hospital now. Joe, you're terribly alone. You're in your high school boiler room. Really? What am I doing here? It's a haunted boiler room with a real scary janitor. Uh, a lot of kids have just disappeared down there. W what am I doing here? Uh, you're just a real dumb kid, remember? Oh, okay, we got you. That'll be 25 cents, Joel. 20, 25 cents? What for? Uh, uh, a quarter, or were you going to go somewhere else oh, tonight? Okay, <laughs> all right, okay. Joel, okay. are you ready for terror? Yeah, ready. But remember, I don't scare very easily. Oh! <laughs> Just ignore those bats brushing against Wait. your face. Ah, there aren't any bats brushing. Oh. oh, believe me, they're coming very close. <laughs> First, feel the eyeballs of all the weird kids from Mrs. Reedy's Spanish Club. <laughs> oh, ick, this is disgusting. Ah, that's so icky. Oh, we know, we know, we know. Now try the next bowl. The next bowl. It's the guts of Mr. Soderbeck from Third Hour Driver's End. No. But what follows is even more horrifying. Do you dare to go on? Sure. Another quarter, please. Oh, yep. oh, yes, All right. <clears throat> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, what is it? It's gruesome worms of hate. 
feels mm. like spaghetti to me. Oh, but it's gruesome spaghetti of hate cooked in blood and entrails. Ah, it's a nice little, little, cream little, sauce little, there. Yeah, that's going to be very nice. Little. Well, I have to admit, you guys have done a really excellent job so far. Well, then really feel free to give. <laughs> all right, I should. Like Community on. chest and all, just a few dozen quarters. Right. It'll be... Please move along. Uh, now, all right, for all right. scariness beyond comprehension, don't right. be caught off guard. The brain of that big ninth grader, Greg Schneider. <laughs> wow. That is really authentic. You guys have really done a great job. I can't say enough about it. Oh, for that one? Yeah, I guess uh, that is pretty good. What it? did you use anyway? Oh, we couldn't find anything very good, so we used a real brain. Ah, yep. real brain! Yep. Yep. brain. A real brain. Human yep. brain. Pretty simple, yep. really. Yep. Yep. Oh, you know what? I forgot to mention that I... Love real brain. Oh, oh, wow, oh, man, he's oh, a oh, 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 I had Charles today. I think he just Charlie. saw Blansky's beauties. I think I'd better take him under observation for a few hours. Greg, come with me. Oh. I had Jello. Yeah, we know. We know you had Jello today. But it had fruit in it. Uh, yeah, that's great. Let's go get your medicine. That was Michael Goldstein. Michael Goldstein. Michael Goldstein. What a beautiful but name. But I think they got it all. Funny girl. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like Richie Cunningham's bedroom. Mm -hmm. Guess he can't read. Mm -hmm. Wow, VCRs, lot. No. Oh, drawers. Oh, donuts. Mm -hmm. No, it's that thing again. The thing that's been driving the plot to nowhere. It's in television. Intelligent television. Oh, it's the Michelangelo virus. Looks like the computer-generated plaid. Yeah. You know, only dogs can see that. It's true. Go on. Stalagmites, stalactites, stalagmites. Mm -hmm. Did I get that right? I have no idea what's going on. Oh, 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 no more green pipes and things. That's okay, close your eyes. If you had them, you could close them. Mm -hmm. Down here is terrible thing at the bottom of it. Don't hold us. You guys, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just this old house, okay? Oh. No. 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 Uh, that's a curly alarm! Oh, he's playing one of those travel games. Oh, Moto Rummy? Yeah, daylight comes and you want to go home, right? We you know. Do it. A, yeah. He needs a haircut. Yeah, huh? What the heck is going on? Where is this? Uh, face it, people, the mall is closed. All right, for today's crazy call, we're going to call Ben Murphy and tell him we've got a good part for him. <laughs> In heaven, there is no beer. That's why we drink... Huh? What the... Uh, hello, Mr. Simpson. Yeah. Uh, you got two weeks to live. How's Ellen this morning? Uh, Dr. Hayworth wants to try a surgical laser. Just for burn fun. fungus off. Just as soon as they make sure there aren't any broken bones. Uh, I took a look at these x-rays you sent me. <laughs> They're That's real sexy. You were right. Skeletal structure is abnormal. Extended clavicle, oversized sternum, displaced mastoid process. Speaking of oversized sternum. Oh, stop. Hi, Susan. Again, I want you to listen to this. I think I'm onto something. Okay, rotary nose hair clippers. What do you think? A scroll. It basically tells the story of King Tutankhamun's uh -huh. soldiers discovering uh -huh. a stranger uh -huh. in the desert. Uh -huh. All right. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Because of his unusual appearance, he's totally the off script. Assumed to be a god. Uh -huh. Sent to advise their own god king. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, now dig so this one. Mm -hmm. King Tut goes forth to greet this deity, mm -hmm. whom he calls mm -hmm. Ankh Vinharis. Well, this is one of those Bob fairy now, tales. Listen to this. Uh -huh. Well, this is a lot more interesting than the movie. Yeah. All knowing Tutankhamun reached out to touch the weary traveler uh -huh. and was sorely burned. 
Mm. And afflicted with a disease that consumed his flesh. Page two. Likewise, we're all servants who laid soothing hands. Hey, 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 I'm reading here. This is my pitch. All died, save only the strange traveler himself, who lay near death and without strength, but who would not pass into the afterworld. I simply sealed him alive in a corner of Tuxedo, along with all the afflicted servants. And the moral of the story is... is... Are you suggesting that our fungus is, is a the fungus? same <laughs> disease that killed Tut and his servants? And it's been dormant for 3,000 years, and now mm -hmm. it's not? No, haven't you been listening? Okay, just suppose. Moses supposes his toes were roses. What would we have to do? We'd have to figure out how it was stimulated out of dormancy. Huh. Then we might know how to stop it. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> it's an unbelievable concept. But it just might work. Yes, yeah. oh, Damn it. I hate Evans this? and Novak. We look ridiculous. We were seen on every channel. You shouldn't have worn that dress. <laughs> look at this. Where is my mummy? A fraternity party Saturday night. Please wear costumes. That's all we need. Lawrence, will you put that down, please? Caution. Snow angels in progress. Oh, Ooh, look at his hand. He needs porcelana. Ooh, you see, the total is 34. Please pull ahead. Your ending chips will be up in just a minute. Thank you. Oh, that proved a lot. Yeah. You know, there's some cool stuff in here. I gotta get down here more often. Now, it's lunchtime. Uh, lever. Yeah. Stuffing instead of potatoes? <gasps> yeah. Two scoops of raisins, my ass. Huh? They're moving. Ooh. Oh, chocolatey cocoa weeds. I hate those. Oh, he just invented shake a pudding. Uh -oh. Well, she's basting up nicely. Do not x-ray Ellen Winters. Doodly 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 doo. Time to x-ray Ellen Winters. She's not very calm for a nurse. Oh, nice no. cream, though. No, she can't stand the sight of pudding. Huh? Oh, get that. We gotta get used to that. Ew. Carrie isn't very. Mm -hmm. Would you, uh, hem those things? Hi, Susie. Really? Hi, Stanley. Can I talk to you for a minute? Not right now, okay? I'm really in a rush. Well, what is it? Are you still going out with Professor McCadden? I don't think that's any of your business, Stanley. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a very busy schedule. I've got a date with Professor well, McCann. I'm sorry. Oh. This conversation hasn't gone as I'd hoped it would. Here, take this. Hey. I can't take this. Take this. Think of me, and maybe I'll see you sometime. Stanley! You want to help me do things right? We now leave Medical Center to join Trapper John, already in progress. Nice to look so close by. Gee, it gets dark fast. Oh, it's a CBS mystery movie. There wasn't a CBS mystery movie. I know, but you won't let us say NBC oh, yeah. mystery movie. Let's get out of here. Let's get donuts. Oh, come <laughs> on, Joel. I don't want to be the dead bird in your guest bed, but that's really a hackneyed joke. No, I just mean the cops eat donuts. No, it's just hack, Joel. Well, it's just something I noticed, it's kind cheap. of observation. Stop it. Donuts. Maybe if they turn down a light. Hey, Steve, there's a string section down here. And George Winston's with him. Yeah. Willard, no! Tear him up! It's the fungus. Among, Among us. <laughs> Well, that's why they hate him. The mummy's a jerk. Yeah. Yes. I, I was only kidding. Uh-huh. So. Well. Oh. Hi, Jack. How do I look? Cheap. Why? Come on. 
Cleopatra would say, see you later, guys. Well, I think she'd say, why don't you cover those things? Gee. So, phew, dinner? <laughs> why can't you dress like that, honey? Did he hurt you? Did he make you mean mad? No, I'm all right. Thanks for being there. Oh, oh. Seen this stuck in the braces again. Conehead. What a dog. Peter, grow up. Just grow up. I swear you are such a dork sometimes. Gross. Still in mirror, ladies and gentlemen. Let's bring, Let's bring him back. Oh, yes. Oh, he's at the airport now. <laughs> It's Adnan you Khashoggi. Make like Queen of Denial. Good stuff, huh? Wayne Gretzky, what are you doing here? <laughs> it's a <laughs> Stick to hockey, Wayne! Yeah. Tough crowd. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look out for the tree. Ooh. Whoa, duck. Yeah, I feel like I'm in a beer commercial. <laughs> hey, Peter, I thought you were going to wear a costume. It's <laughs> funny because you see he is wearing a costume. <laughs> that's, that's the, the humor. That's so unique. Huh. <laughs> Excuse us, Tom. Oh, still on first base. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crap. Now listen, you pervert. Hmm? If you don't disappear, I'm gonna kick your bandage butt. Ooh, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Ooh. Some chicken frat rat. Looks like that sculpture by Rodin. Oh, the monster? No, the sculptor who married Camille Claudel. The sculptor? No, the monster. Oh. Uh oh. They keep Peter. Meanwhile, at the Kennedy compound. <laughs> And this music is by the producer's brother-in-law. Hey, hey, we're the mummies. <laughs> People say we mummy around. Hey, come on, use a beer bong. Oh, man. Ugh. Uh -oh. They're spending $8,000 a year for yep. this? Yeah, to them it's not tuition, it's a cover oh, charge. Hmm? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh no. Not the dog. dog! No, no, no. Well, this woman sprained her whole body. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. 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 <laughs> hey, nice snake. Well, thank you. I just threw it on. You seen Sarah? I got a present. No, I think she's outside. Puking her guts out. <laughs> is that a contour sheet? It is now. <laughs> Sarah! This is Abraham. Hast thou seen Isaac? Sarah! They haven't progressed in the least. No. Sarah, is that you? No! She's not Sarah! Oh. I sure as hell ain't. Just want to get lost. Who dresses you, John Fogarty? Eat it, Joe's. Eat it, Joe's. Sarah. Jockman. Bill. Keen. Jeff. Altman. Ready, Sarah? Hey, Sarah, what is going on? Sorry, buddy, this is only a two-seater. Hmm? Hey, Sarah, what happened? Well, figure it out. You look like B. Arthur. Damn. Oops. That's it. I'm through with women. I'm going to be a priest. Ooh, a priest. We love priests. Oh, Forgive me, Father, for I have <laughs> sinned. Be right, back. Be right back. Yeah, I need a new gown. Right. Huh, this will complete my ensemble. Oh. Hey! Hey, the flying nun. Hmm. Ripkin flies one off center field wall. That'll be extra bases. It's yours. You can keep it. Buy oh. them, trade them, collect them all. 
and the winner is Geechee Guy. <laughs> It's an orange out. I gotta go over to my office and check this out. Can I come along? No, no, I'll be right back. Really, I just want to see if there was some sort of power drain. Now I gotta find the buttons for my shirt. Yeah. Be careful. Lock the door and keep it locked. Don't let a good boy go bad. Looks like Tron. <laughs> Here at DeVry, you can work on computers from 1978. Would you like to play a game? Well, you see, the last time we had a power drain like this, it was back in this really dark corner back here. The, yeah. Nice Mac Davis outfit. Baby. Yeah, he's gonna stop and smell the boilers. <laughs> Baby, I'm gonna want you. That was Brad. Oh, sorry. Uh, one out of 12, see the cruller, uh, corner of Fifth and Maple. Was on the wall right there. So whoever stole the mummy must have stashed him in here. Uh -huh. Oh, look who's here. Come to change the light bulb, Parker? No, actually, I came to blow up the reactor. <laughs> Sarcasm, huh? Well. What? <laughs> That's the original Broadway cast of Pippin. <laughs> Let the sun shine. Let <laughs> yeah, yeah, give me a head with hair. Nobody respects a man who dresses nice. Hello? Hey, do you need any help? Yeah, teach hey. me how to get girls. Ah, oh, geez. This is the third pop star I found tonight. Huh? Hey, Bill? I got the wedding bell blue. He's dead. Sad, really. Yeah. Ah, Professor. Yes, Nanny. Thought you might be interested in this. No, not really. What happened? Well, you were in Alias Smith this. and Jones, and then you were out of work for a while, and now you're here. Go figure. It's definitely from the mummy's wrappings. Looks like somebody's playing a very sick game. Please stay away from the green stuff if there's any on it. It's very dangerous. And Can't stay away from the red acid. I don't think the fungus killed him. All right, what did? Well, beauty killed the geek. Impossible. Why? It looks like every bone in that boy's body's broken. Huh. It's not a mark on it. We figure he hit that wall with incredible force. Well, Jack Parker's pretty strong. Nobody's that strong. Oh, yeah, my dad is. Tonight on the USA Network, Swamp Thing versus the Honeymooners. Ba -da 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 oh, you're not bringing him evil in here. Oh, to the moon. I know you, Ross Moore. And this isn't the first time you tried to cover something up because you don't want to smell bad in the press. Uh -oh. I beg your pardon, Lieutenant. You're addressing the president of an accredited university. Don't interfere with this investigation. Don't withhold information. And don't wash a red towel in a white load. Mm -hmm. What about the mummy? Well, you look for your mummy, doctor. And I'll look for I'm mine. I'm looking for a murderer. Susie and I have been researching... Dolly's Last Supper. Source. First of all, I want to warn you. It's going to sound very unbelievable. But please, just bear with me. Okay. I know it can't be proved. But I'm Patty but Page. Fungus. Well, I think we all agree it's like nothing else we've ever encountered. I'd have to agree with that. It's like Tofuti, only better. I suppose that was because it didn't come from Earth. Where else would it have come from? Oh, water, yeah. fire, You've seen air. the six rays of our mummy. You said he wasn't a normal human being. Suppose he wasn't a human being. Ah, uh, Doug. I said what sound crazy. Remember the squirrel? Yeah, Rocky it the Flying Squirrel. It said all the became afflicted and died, except Unc Finharis, because he was immune. 
because he wasn't human. We all agree that we're dealing with something unknown. Mm -hmm. But I can't myself take a quantum leap into the supernatural. Not in these clothes, anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, Professor, but with all due respect, we have to have some basis in fact. I've got the best available equipment at my disposal. I've, been, I've, I've come up with absolutely nothing. I mean, it simply does not exist. Look, Doug, the bottom line is this. Whatever it is, I'm we still have to find it. out who took it and where it is now. Otherwise, more people are going to get hurt. Thanks to McCadden, we are in deep trouble. <laughs> Two of our donors have withdrawn their bequests. $500,000 out the window. Oh. Maybe there's a way of turning this whole thing around. How, Bruce? How? What if he stole the mummy? Huh? Hmm? He wasn't ready to unveil that mummy, so he had it stolen and hidden where he could work on it in private. And then when he's ready to find it and unveil it, he'll find it and come out a big hero. No, I don't think that scenario is going to hold water, Bruce. I hold I water. Do. And I think I can prove it. You don't think it's walking around on its own, do you? No! Jimmy! No! Oh, gee, look over there. There's still... Oh, there's copper tubing everywhere. It's oh, not geez. easy to see green. Oh, oh, Cover that oh. eyes. Oh. There's something out there. What? It's a... Poorly, that point of view shot saved me. Ladies and gentlemen, the Black Moses of Soul. Huh? Come on, Doug, wake up. Oh, wow. Oh. Did I make you dress up like Lucy Arnaz last night? Mm -hmm. You've been sleeping all day. You must have been really tired. Oh, uh, you're brilliant. Doug, look. Oh, yeah, that. I got drunk and would burn my cabinet. Mm. Where's it coming from? My bracelet. Hey, that's my bracelet. Joshua Light Show. Mm. That looks exactly like the diagram that I found inside the scroll. It can't be a coincidence. Susie, where'd you get this bracelet? Cracker Jacks. Well, it was a present from this guy named Stanley. We're uh, um, uh, friends. Yeah, we <laughs> no. Susie, can you call him? Now? Yeah, honey, it's important. That diagram and this crystal have the same pattern. They've got to be related. Oh. Gee, Ben, put some pants on. I've seen that pattern before. I know I have, or something like it anyway. Kind of, sort of, remotely, You asked vaguely. me about it in your office. I couldn't remember, but... Because I was dizzy with what? lust. What? I know, my brother used to build radios, and, and I, I think he had diagrams lying around that looked like that. Your brother Marconi? Radios. So what you're saying is that this radio. film is going directly to radio cassette. You know, maybe Parker will know. Parker Lewis can't lose. This was in the coffin? Yeah. It's amazing. It looks like some kind of wiring schematic. I love the velour like tunic she's ideas. wearing. <laughs> right, but what would it be doing in a 3,000-year-old coffin? Did ancient astronauts carry radios Jack, to Egypt? Jack, something to do with it. Your thumb? Maybe crystals could be used as transmitters. Jack. Look at this. It's Candor's Giver Show Protector. What's going on, Doug? There must be a connection. Hmm. If this did belong to Ankh Van Harris, what would he have used it for? Oh, uh, I mean, uh, he couldn't have been parties? building radios in ancient uh, Egypt. Susie. Shut up. I want you to go to the astronomy center, see what else you can find on ancient phenomena. Mm -hmm. But also, check out those NASA information bulletins on ultra long range communication. Mm -hmm. And get me a pound of goat cheese. If you don't find anything, come right back. Well, and if you do find something, stay there. What's it printed on? This doesn't feel like paper. It's ancient toilet paper. Now it's really rough. Blank. Brett Summers? Matches no other material. Like Either natural or synthetic. Like nothing else, huh? Like that jacket. Just like the fungus. Among, Among us. And Octonaris. Oh boy, here comes that evil asthmatic. Hey, someone painted the Kennedy Center green. Ooh. It's an orangey sky. Always with some other guy. Where is everybody? Be 
field trip. They all went to the observatory. Gee, Pops, there's some fun team. Thank you. Oh, there's you guys. That was really, really good. Yeah, thanks, Gypsy. You were really funny out there. Yeah, whatever. I think I know what these two need, huh? Way ahead of you. Jeez, we even bored Gypsy. Well, you must remember, Tom, she has a life. Well, come on, I think I know a couple of gloomy gusses that can use a little cheering up. Oh, just leave us alone. Gypsy, ready, girl? Roger! All right, okay, Camba, quick, cue up the sequencer for Joe's rainy day fun sketch and the Hexfield view screen fun time oh, no, hall clouds. Yeah. Oh, okay, start the music, Gypsy. Come on. Oh, this kind of spray Come on, hey. Oh, this oh, can't be oh, 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 hey, you won't be needing this. Oh, hey, you won't be needing this. Oh, 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 You know, when you take all the really fun stuff in the world and put it in one room, it leaves you feeling kind of empty. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. All right. really. What are you looking at? Oh, we got commercial sign. It's the Ludlow Library. Oh, Look, hey, there's yeah. the Horseshack Conspiracy. Hey, hey, there's the, the Morgan Conundrum. There's the Slingshaft Conkeelment. The Migraine Containment. Oh, the Crankshaft McNoggin. The Pull Pain Poo Poo Poo. The Clank Black Poo Poo Poo. The Shrinkshaft The Ying Gang. The Mole Moth Moo Moo Moo. The Grink 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 Grink. The Lalo Kalinga Linga Linga. The Chris Craft Crack Crack Crack. The Clavis Oysterette. That's a big dingy picket. Jeez, look at the time. I'm late. Turn on your heart light. Oh, big oh, mummy. Ooh, ooh, big, ooh, huge. Bright lights, big mummy. I'll say. Hey, lady, I just want my thing back. <laughs> the Mud Squad in the Live Green. <laughs> Oh, come on, he's just a hall monitor. He wants to see her pass. Susie Cream Cheese, what's got into you? Susie, you can run all you like, but you'll never run away from yourself. Hey, the mummy's laughing you, Susie. Better hurry. Shake a leg. Quick, down a completely different hallway. <laughs> Handle. Yeah. Door knob. Button, button, button. Yeah, <laughs> Sportswear, please. Shaft. Elevator shaft. Don't, uh, don't do that. Liquid uh. metal. School's out forever. Jan Brady like you've never seen her before. Calvin Coolidge jeans. Oh, cool, you guys. She's gonna do elevator surfing. Mm. No, this is like the Dick Van Dyke episode where Laura got stuck in the elevator with Dick. Uh, so yeah. uh, the moment would be the Don Rickles part. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dick Oh, don't worry, Susie. There's not enough money in the budget to have you killed. <laughs> you know, if you bang on the door enough times, it usually opens. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> oh, no, I forgot my book. I've got to go back. This is the worst library I've been in. Really strict on fines. Wait, so, so the library's on the top floor? I don't get it.
Look, all I want is Ben Murphy's autograph. Already got Peter Newell's. Cause he's ouch. <laughs> Did you check out Ludlum's Ming Mang Pating Ting? Ah, uh, Susie dear, put the bracelet down. It's like a two-way mood ring. Mm -hmm. No, here's your dumb bracelet. Not for crying out loud. Wait a minute, I'll do it. Come on. Hey, uh, are we really small all of a sudden? You can so. tell by the way we use our walk, we're women's men, no time. Um, uh, look, uh, maybe we should have coffee somewhere. Uh, really old coffee. <laughs> oh, it's... Look, I think you're just getting uh, sort of wrapped up in yourself. Oh, gee, uh... Oh, she's going back into the library again. Next scene. Boring, 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 Not the deep end, Susie. Uh oh. And here's Susie Luganis off the 10 meter. Well, looks like a gainer. Ooh. Oh, she missed the pool, and that will affect her score. Ouch. And thus, the classic library chase scene comes to a close. And the next thing I remember is waking huh? up here. You are one lucky mamma jamma. Okay. Okay, okay. I appreciate your answering these questions, Miss Fuller. But you're still what getting to see anything this. else. Give me a call, okay? Lieutenant Plummer, you don't really still believe this is a fraternity joke, do you? Ah, uh, you got a little no. uh, jelly on no, your... No, I uh. think this is a very sick individual. But, Lieutenant, it's... Try to get some sleep now, okay? You know, why doesn't he save himself a trip and get like two at a time? Oh, oh triple word score. THX. Oh, she's back. Yeah, uh, her. Good man. Honk if you hate this film. Cars across America. Was what happened. Well, at least she gets a lot Dougie of visitors. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice folks. I'm not the hysterical type, but it was him. him? It was Ankh Van Harris. Oh, that's uh, great, honey. Could we get her a sedative? He's alive. He didn't want to hurt me. He just wanted so, my bracelet. So I guess all that running was kind of dumb. My crystal bracelet. Mm. It was glowing. And he, uh -huh. he had a crystal just like it in his chest. Nice, that's great. Nurse, nurse. Worries. Jewelry, some kind of necklace. Yeah, so is Bill Vogel, according to the coroner. Susie, do you know if there's any more of those crystals? Oh, uh, yeah, Shirley no, McLean's house. I'm going back to my office and check out that schematic again. All right. Go ahead, it's okay. You can check out the schematic thing, I don't care. Ooh, that was a high voltage kid. Well, let's see, while you were out, the schematic thing called. Oops. Alfred, how many times is that computer gonna do that? It's really annoying. Do you shut up? He was here. Mummy scat. Huh. It's my headshot. Oh. Hey, nice skull. How did these get here? One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Crystals? Sharp. Oh, he's an AV geek, all right. Hey! Where'd you get those crystals? What crystals? What Flavor you crystals! Selling your friends. I got them at the swap meet. Sharp, don't lie to me. Swap? What about these? Uh, oh, a nice skull, but... Ellen Winters and Bill Vogel are dead because of those crystals. And Susie Fuller's in the hospital. Because of those crystals. Well, could I go back to my game? I was up to the third level of Metroid. For anyone to get hurt. And I just don't want to look like Jackson Brown anymore. Right, where are the rest of them? There's one in my top drawer there. But don't touch my underwear. I gave the other one to my girlfriend. Sherry? Yeah. Oh my god, she's Jenny's roommate. <gasps> Ooh. 
Hot child in the city. Mm. Um, could you please turn down the fan? I can't be exposed to moisture. Oh, the shower massage by water. Huh? Hey, I'm in here. No, not the Mr. Bubble. <laughs> please, not the shower massage. Oh. Hey, dye gel, you can't get that anymore. He flushed. This is Professor McCadden. Get your camera and come over to the reactor building. Then go down to the shower and take a picture of my now. girlfriend. Jenny! His wife. Jenny! Did he touch you? No. Hey, hey, the leather, the leather! You know, I've got the weirdest feeling someone's touching a girl right now. Hmm. Fella sure could get used to this, you know? Big country here. Nice and, huh? Hey, there's a heart back there. I am the great and powerful Oz. Pay no attention to the man behind the boy lock. Let's see, it's Friday. Have a look at the menu. Ah, oh, fish sandwich and. Uh... Boring incidental music. Boring incidental, incidental boring. music. Boring, boring incidental music. Incidental. Thank you, Douglas. <gasps> What are you guys doing here? We're staging a hat party and everybody's invited. Proving my theory, I knew all along that you'd taken that money and now I know where you've hidden it. Hmm. What? Oh, come off it, Professor. Don't you realize what has been going on here? Yes, as a matter of fact, you've been getting away with murder. Well, the game is over. And as soon as I call Lieutenant Plummer, you'll be on your way to jail and I'll have what I deserve. Welcome to the Annunciation Seminar. Jack! Making a left-hand turn. Uh, you'll have to sign in at the front desk. Uh, it's around the other side of the building. Uh, hmm. Sir, sir. They can't run. This guy walks slower than Miss Jane Pittman. The prime of Miss Jane Pittman. Hey man, you don't want to be doing that, man. The man wants you to do that, man. Oh. Uh, I'll just be going over here. Say. Oh, it's just Dave Lennox, you know, there he's there to change the filter. Oh, well that huh? My move. That one goes there. Idiot. Ladies and gentlemen, Sherry Belafonte Harper! <laughs> Four to beam up. Someone's got their finger on a DX7 here. Mm -hmm. Smile, say mummy me. <laughs> Who is humming? Okay, hmm? we're all gonna join hands now and try to contact the script. It's a Fremen. Hmm. He's got an electric dance belt on. Oh, was Robert Redford in that? Electric dance belt? Oh, yeah, those are some styling trousers. Uh -oh. Well, gotta go now. <laughs> bye bye. My God, I'm never going to do a feature film again. You know, I recall reading a video watchdog that this sequence set the film $50 over budget. Mm. Ta-da! Oh. Yeah? And? Turns out the mummy is a lame styrofoam-headed alien. Oh. <laughs> what a thunk. Shoot it down. Shoot to kill. 
What the hell are you shooting over there for? He's across the room! Folks, I apologize. I had no control over the content of this film. Communion, Whitley Streamer. Jimmy Smith. Did ancient astronauts wear Lee press on nails? See, we just gotta work together. Kid Power! That's a shame he had tenure, too. Sad, really. Mm. Nope. Yep. Midterm tomorrow. Huh. The Crystal! Crystal Gale! No! No! Oh. Big mistake. Ah, ah. You're not supposed to melt your hand. Can't look at him when he's like that. I hate that. The Craw. This movie sucks. This movie sucks. This movie sucks. Yeah. This movie, you know, I think this is the worst movie we've ever seen here. Oh, really? What about Robot versus the Aztec Mummy? What worse. about Side Hackers? Worse. Cave Dwellers? Worse. Catalina yeah. Caper? Worse. Pod People? Worse. Hellcats? Oh, worse. Daddy O? No, worse. Mm, Rocket Attack USA? Worse. Earth versus the Spider? Oh, definitely worse. Ring of Terror? Yeah, worse. They Conquered the World? Yeah, uh, yeah, worse. Lost Continent? Oh, worse. Moon no. Zero Two? No, worse. Women of the Prehistoric Planet. <laughs> Time of the Age. Worse, worse, worse. Wild Rebels. Worse. Stranded in Space. Worse. King Dinosaur. Worse. Mighty Jack. Worse. Rocket Ship XM. Worse. Santa Claus Conquers the Martians. Worse. The Unearthly. Yeah, worse. <laughs> Teenage Caveman? No way. First Spaceship on Venus? No, worse, worse. Space Travelers? Much worse. Giant Gila Monster? Well, a lot worse. The Minchingo Conganglium? A bunch, huh? Oh. Day. Teenagers from Outer Space was much, much better. S Good. Ton worse. City Limits. Worse. War of the Colossal Beast? Worse. Amazing Colossal Man? Worse. Fugitive Alien? Worse. Mm, Fugitive Alien 2? Worse. Uh, Master Ninja? Not worse. Oh, really? Worse. Gamera? Worse, worse. Mm, worse, worse. Godzilla versus worse. Sea Monster? Worse, 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 worse. Gamera worse. versus Zigra? Worse, worse. Worse, uh, worse, worse, worse. Versus Varagon? Worse, uh, worse, worse, worse. Gamera worse. versus Giron? Worse, worse. Um, worse. How about uh, Castle of Fu Manchu? Okay, I'll grant you Castle of Fu Manchu was just as bad, but we've never done a worse film. Okay, we gotta go. Come on. Sorry to leave. Hey, welcome back to TVSFN, the TV's Frank shopping network dedicated to only stuff Frank, TV's Frank would really love. That's right, Joel. And hey, for the next hour, we've got a special value based on that toxic waste dump of a movie we were just forced to watch. <laughs> Crow, tell them all about it. <laughs> sure thing, Tom. It's a V-shaped diamond encrusted mummy oh, communicator type oh, thing that we like to call the uh, V-shaped diamond encrusted, encrusted mummy, mummy communicator, communicator type thing. thing. <laughs> right, and I know it's the type of thing that TV's Frank would absolutely love. Mm -hmm. There's a million and one uses. You can uh, use it as a conversation starter, put it on a knick-knack shelf. You know, you could use these little gems to button your coat. You could mm -hmm. um, yeah. freeze them and put them in drinks and to keep them cold and reuse them a lot or um, <laughs> put them on a high-powered saw and cut through a lot of layers of earth. There's, mm -hmm. there's just really a lot of uses. <laughs> I'd say there's, there's a million and one uses, Joel. Yeah. Hey, let's see who we've got on the line here at TV's okay. Frank Shopping Network. Hello there. Hey, everyone, it's me, TV's Frank. Hey, hey Frank. Frank. Hey. Frank. Oh, Frank nice I you. know you're going to want this item as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And the most convenient way to get it is by pushing the button that says bring down the satellite of love. Oh, you know I've told you guys time and again that Dr. Forrester won't let me push that button. Hey, but think of the convenience. Uh, haven't you enjoyed the other items you've ordered from us? Oh, my, yes. You know, ever since I got that Craftmatic adjustable bed, I spend all my time kissing. Kissing? Mm -hmm. Yes, kissing my lower back pains goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Kill him. I've gotten so much enjoyment out of all the products I've bought from you. Ever since I got that yogurt maker and the deal -a meal cars and all the other wonderful fine products you nice people have sold me, I've received many compliments on how slim I look. You know, I get kind of lonely sometimes, and the hours I spend watching and chatting with you guys are some of my uh, most cherished that's, memories. That's, that's great, Frank. Look, if you <laughs> order this item now, 
and you order it using your handy convenient bring down the satellite of love button we'll throw in at no extra charge this wonderful letter from a viewer oh, let's put that up on still value. store cam bot wow. and there's a polaroid picture so uh this is from uh a guy named Josh King, Hi, Josh. and it's set up in the format of a doer's profile. Like father, like son, think about it, won't you? Age, probably 13 by the time you get this. Birthday, April 25th. Member number for the Information Club, 10375. Date when I watched first, MST3K episode, August 24th, 1991. Name of the first episode, It Conquered the World. Very good. Number of episodes seen by me, 38. Wow. Holy that cow, is how about heavy. that? Very Thanks, good. Josh. Thanks a lot, Josh. And say, Frank, tell you what we're going to do. Because you've been such a good customer, hey, we're going to let you have the V-shaped diamond-encrusted mummy communicator type thing, the letter from the viewer complete with handsome Polaroid, a frozen vegetarian <sighs> potato and chem entree, and the snake knives, Mrs. Presky. But you got to push the bring down the satellite of love button. Oh, this is great. Where is it? Bring down satellite of love button. Frank! Oh. I can't find my Visa card anywhere. Did you buy this thigh mask? You are not bringing down the satellite of love. Abort Command 7. Well, at least we tried. We tried to return to Earth and pass the savings on to TV's Frank. Thigh Master is now Die Master. I may not have been born with a lobotomy, but now I can look like I was. Uh.